Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. Every week I bring you a brand new episode of my show. Well, there are certain foods that taste better burnt, like hot dogs, marshmallows. My husband always burns his toast. I love roasted carrots when they're slightly burnt, and ham steaks, a nice burnt ham steak is always good. Well, on the menu today, I'm featuring a recipe with burnt walnuts. Burnt walnut tomato salad is one that we have around the house all the time. That's why I wanted to share it with you. So, did you know, by the way, that there are 7,500 varieties of tomato. This is what I call a red tomato. So I'm going to make enough for four. I, I, I figure a medium tomato per person is what you need. So I'm going to slice them up. Then I take the slices and I cut them in half. and I have the best tomato story to tell you regarding the history of tomatoes. Well, they, they come from the nightshade family, which was considered poisonous, and so many people never ate tomatoes. They, in fact, they would grow them as an ornamental shrub just to look at and look pretty. Well, one time in 1830 in Salem, Massachusetts, a man by the name of Robert Johnson stood in front of the courthouse with a basket of tomatoes. And there were several hundred spectators, including his doctor. And he said, I'm gonna eat these tomatoes to show you they're not poisonous. People were appalled. They were screaming at him. You're gonna foam at the mouth. Your appendix is gonna explode. You're gonna die. Well, he ate all of, all of the tomatoes. And of course he was fine. And so after that, tomatoes in the United States became very popular. So I'm going to arrange the tomatoes on a platter. All right, next I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of salt on them. Then a little coarse black pepper. And then I'm going to drizzle it with some fine Italian balsamic. And then I'm going to top it with some shaved Parmesan. And here comes the burnt walnut part. So heading to the stove, I've melted two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to add about a cup and a half of walnut halves. Just a very light sprinkling, a sprinkling of salt. Then we're going to cook them until they're perfectly burnt. Okay, see they're starting to uh, burn a little bit. When I when I talk about burnt, I mean way beyond brown. And just when they're starting to get a little bit blackened, I add a half a cup of brown sugar. Stir that in until the brown sugar melts. By that time, they'll be perfectly burnt. 
And I'm sorry, but there's no other nut that burns like walnuts. I don't like burnt almonds or burnt cashews, just walnuts. Those are perfect. And then we just top our salad with the burnt walnuts. The salad should always be room temperature. And it's really nice to have the nuts a little bit warm on top. delicious. I never get tired of this recipe. And I just think it's so funny that at one time, not that long ago, people thought tomatoes were poisonous. <laughs>